Like all my colleagues in biomolecular and biomedical sciences, I am passionate about teaching and instilling a love of my subjects in the next generation of scientists. Doing the course in university teaching and learning has offered the opportunity to really think about how I teach and assess, and how the content of a module is best structured to optimize the learning of the students. The most important learning for me has come around the aspect of active versus passive learning. So much of what we traditionally do is passive teaching, and we have depended on that form of teaching and are most comfortable with it. While this can be done in a very effective way and has its value, it fails to consistently promote the development of critical thinking skills. Active learning approaches are certainly scary at first for both the lecturer and the students, and everyone is out of their comfort zone. But to see how active learning can enthuse and engage students has been remarkable. When you realize that these approaches not only impart the material in a more comprehensive and flexible manner, but in addition develop critical thinking and analytical skills that equip the students to tackle future learning in a much more productive fashion, then you'll never go back. We have a long tradition of close integration of research in our teaching, and this is most obvious in our final year program, where modules are based on cutting edge research papers. There is a tangible step up in the students' interest and the engagement levels, and they can sense the engagement of the lecturers in the specific material, as it is their research area. It is critical to engender a passion for research in the next generation of students, and such exposure is often cited by the students as the most significant factor in their decision to pursue a research career. I now recommend UTL modules to all my colleagues, and I think that the continuous engagement with new teaching methods curriculum design and review will keep our programs at the high international standards we currently enjoy.